Hey loves, this is Jay from Jay Young Healing. This is going to be a general reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for November 1st through the 15th. Please make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell before you head out, okay? We are going to get started with your reading, Pisces. Uh, this is going to be a general reading, so it may not resonate with everyone out there. Take the parts that do resonate and apply it to your love life, career, finances, spiritual, or personal aspects of your life. Remember that the genders and the scenarios can be interchanged. You don't have to be so hyper-focused on the zodiac sign, okay? Take what resonates, leave the rest behind, okay? We are going to get started, Pisces, with your focus for the month. I'm going to pull an oracle card for you, read the excerpt, and we'll get into the energies, okay? All right, what message do you have for Pisces? What is Pisces focus this month? What is Pisces focus this month? Do all those want to fly out? I just want to do one, okay? What is Pis Pisces focus this month? Just one card. Let's do one card. Ooh, Pisces. You know, I just feel like spirit wants to, <laughs> wants to really talk to you because this is just. A lot of stuff trying to come out and play, okay? I know this Scorpio season's got things feeling a bit intense for you, Pisces. I'm a Pisces as well, so all of these energies that are swirling around, you know, we're water signs. So let's just do one focus, okay? What is Pisces' focus for this month? This must be an important message for you, Pisces. There we go. Will is your card, okay? This is the will card. And I feel like this energy is centered around you expressing things this month, okay? For November 1st through the 15th. And again, remember, time is fluid. So this can happen at any point, okay? So your focus this month is will, okay? I feel like um, being assertive, having assertiveness, self-control, knowing your direction, taking things as they come, taking things uh, slowly, okay, and really just finding the will, not just jumping into something, but really, really being able to um, maneuver your way through whatever comes your way with grace, okay, with grace and assertiveness, okay, but also having self-control is a really big thing for you this month, okay, the number 30 breaking down to the three, it's about creating things, okay, during this portion of the month. Some of you may even be in a place of collaborating with someone as well, coming together, being more social, spending time with friends, um, being more expressive. You know, what's on your mind, Pisces? Okay, do you have an outlet? Do you have someone that you can talk to when, you know, things are getting rough or when things are amazing that you, you can have an outlet of, you know, some positive energy that you're surrounded by that you can, you know, Talk about things, express things, you know, be imaginative. That is our sign, okay? Being imaginative, being free in our thoughts, okay? So I'm going to read you the excerpt for your focus this month, Will, okay? All right. This card is about the expression and communication of our will. It's about voicing our opinions and feeling comfortable to state who we are with pride. It is about being able to assert your will so that you have self-control and are able to maintain personal boundaries and choices. If we have a strong will, we are able to move beyond resistance, beyond doubts, opinions, and judgment of others and ourselves. This card is an invitation to ignite your personal will in alignment with what is important to you through the simple steps you take in the world each day, the food you eat or choose not to eat, your spiritual practice, fitness regimen, um, and I'm sorry, fitness, reg fitness uh, regimen and work you engage in. It is one thing to set a goal for health, love, financial, or creative success. It is another thing to follow through with empowered, willful action. 
It is time now to move steadily in the direction of that which you feel most called to do. This card encourage you, encourages you to acknowledge who you are and to practice living in alignment with this, to speak up, communicate, and fully express your truth. When we have a strong will, we are not forceful. Instead, we are simply secure in who we are and what we are doing. We do not need to control or dominate others, nor do we allow ourselves to be pulled off course or knocked off balance. When our will is engaged, there is a quiet, humble strength in our words and actions. Our unique path unfolds before us as our true will and that of the universe align. A strong will allows our truth to shine. Okay? Beautiful. And I just love this card, too. It's, it's you know, I, I just feel like it's about freedom, too. You know, free to be you. Free to express who you are. Okay? All right. I've already shuffled all my cards. Okay? So I'm going to choose the overall energy for you, okay? The Ten of Fire is our overall energy, okay? You can be currently experiencing this or moving towards this or this is coming towards you. This Ten of Fire, some of you can be dealing with an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius energy. This is about burdens. It's about responsibilities when it comes to the home. Or this could be self, you know, responsibilities, what you see yourself to, to be doing in your world or what you feel like you should be doing. But again, I feel like there's a lot going on. I do feel like for some of you, there's this energy of you ridding yourself of old responsibilities. Maybe the responsibilities that some of you are, you know, partaking in on a day-to-day -day basis, they just no longer fit who you are, right? You're moving in a new direction, okay? You're finding this freedom, this freedom to express. And I feel like this freedom is expression of expression is coming in strong with this Ten of Fire because now you are able to communicate what no longer works for you, okay? Whether you're in a relationship or you're single, this energy just doesn't work for you. I do feel like you're moving forward as well, okay? But the number 10 breaks down to a one. So I feel like there is this new beginning that's happening when it comes to, you know, fire and desire. I'm thinking of what is that, earth, wind, and fire, I think. <laughs> um, you know, that song, Fire and Desire, from back in the day. I can't think of the words right now. But I feel like some of you, oh, I'm just feeling this very strong energy right now that's coming over my heart chakra. And... It's just like, it's an energy of excitement. It's uh, an energy of freedom, of will, of expression. And I feel like some of you are coming into a space right now where you're feeling like, you know, I don't even know myself, the old self anymore. I feel like things are so new right now. Things that are unfolding are so new. The way that you think, the way that you're acting and reacting to situations feels so beautiful and new and it feels so true to your core that sometimes you're not even able to recognize who you used to be okay because some of these things are just falling away they just don't serve you anymore and I feel like there's just this new energy that some of you are experiencing and again especially right now as we're in this Scorpio season where the energies are magnified they are intense, they're very energetic, and they're passionate, and they're, you know, desireful, and it's like, it's a lot of intense energy moving forward, but then we have this Mercury retrograde that has started, and it's like, now taking it back a little bit, reeling it in, but I feel like this is going to be a good Mercury retrograde for you, Pisces, especially for those of you that have Pisces in Mercury, which I do, um, and Pisces is also my sun sign. But I feel like it gives you the opportunity to really reevaluate this new essence that you're now exuding out into the world, or maybe you're just in feel, you're feeling internally. Now, not it's not to talk about myself, but my rising sign is in Scorpio. So not only do I feel it, I feel it internally. I'm also able to express that out. So I feel like for some of you, this Mercury retrograde could be a good, good moment for you to be able to express this and to be assertive, you know, and I feel like Pisces nature is, an, is not about being assertive. I mean, trust me, we can definitely be assertive when we need to be, but it's not our true nature to like try to force something or go against something or try to battle with something, okay? 
we're just like, you know, we're, we're there one minute and we're gone. You think about the fish and it's like, you know, we're not trying to get in a battle with, <laughs> with anything. Okay. We're just kind of like trying to go with the flow of things. Okay. So I feel like, you know, for you Pisces, this is a really good time for you to, you know, take this Mercury retrograde and this Scorpio season and really just own this new you. Like it feels so amazing. It's probably why I'm wearing my red lipstick today. But anyway, let's clarify this, you know, 10 of fire here. Okay. I have the four of pentacles, the four of wands, the four of cups. You better shut up with all these fours and the five <laughs> and the five of cups. Okay. So again, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy here. I also have um, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, and then some of you, again, are dealing with the Leo, Sagittarius, or um, Aries energy here. Okay, so I feel like, you know, for some of you, we are talking about your emotions, your, you know, what you're feeling within your relationships. Some of you have been feeling a bit closed off, okay? Some of you are closed off, feeling closed off right now, because, Maybe what you're feeling right now, Pisces, is, isn't something that you can articulate because you actually have no idea what it is, okay? I do feel like for some of you, though, this is you are in a, you know, a, a happy marriage, you know, you have set a, a beautiful foundation, but I do feel like there is some burning, some energy here with this ten of fire, right? Because the ten of fire is going to be at the center of your energy, um, but I feel like you know, some of you may be feeling some sort of conflict and maybe it's time for you to, um, some of you are needing to have the conversation of some of the things that no longer work for you in your relationship. Okay. And then we have the four of cups here and the five of cups. Let me show you all this together. Okay. This is what I'm reading for you right now. Okay. The center of the energy is that 10 of fire. Again, I feel like you're really in this state of contemplating what no longer is working for you. Okay. These responsibilities, these burdens, and some of these burdens have been put on you and you didn't ask for them. You didn't even sign up for it. It just became a part of your job, so to speak, within your relationship. Or again, you can apply this to your career and it's just kind of been something you've taken on and it isn't something that you want anymore. Okay. So I feel like some of you are moving into this contemplation mode. This will be a good time for you to like meditate on it. Some of you are meditating right now and trying to figure out how you want to present this or how you just want to let this go. Okay. But I do feel like, again, there's this energy of some of you feeling like regret about this because, you know, it's for some of you, things that you do in your relationship are, again, things that, you know, you're a Pisces. You just kind of go with the flow. You are in tune with your partner and their needs and you just kind of you don't think twice about it you just do it okay it because you know pisces are doers i don't care what astrology says like we we're always in our head and thinking about things now we're doing we do we're doers as well again depending on what's in your natal chart but we just kind of do it because we're all about you know pleasing people so we do take action but i do feel like some of you may be in this state of feeling bad about the way that you actually feel at your core and there's no reason for you to feel bad about that okay definitely don't feel bad about that pisces okay you're coming into this new place this new state which is super super amazing i do want to clarify i'm going to clarify this um i want to clarify this four of wands why is the four of wands here Ooh. the star Okay, Pisces, this is already telling me this it's time for you to be the star of the show. It's time for you to take care of yourself. Look at that. Okay, it's time for you to get the recognition that you're needing. It's time for you to, you know, step into this place of peace and balance um, for you to not have to worry about anything. It's time for you to be like the king or the queen of your castle. Okay, again, the star of your show. But I do feel like this is about finding balance. Okay finding balance in your relationship because some, again, some of you are feeling a bit closed off right now because you're moving into this new state of being, this new state of thinking. You feel different inter internally. And so you're trying to figure out how do I maneuver this energy? Okay. Let's, um, 
let's pull a card for your um what advice what advice do you have for pisces um, card we have the tower card here okay as the advice okay some of you are contemplating um leaving physically leaving your home um or physically leaving a job or some of you are thinking if some of you are going through some sort of internal chaos right now, some sort of spiritual awakening right now, and that's totally fine, Pisces, okay? It's the inevitable. We all go through these moments, okay? Let's see why this tower here is here. I have the Eight of Pentacles, the Judgment card, the Eight of Wands, and the Empress card here, okay? The center of the energy is the tower, remember? Okay, so I do feel like some of you have been working at something. You're trying to, I feel like some of you are trying to resurrect something in a relationship or, you know, again, whether this is in love or in career, you're trying to make a decision about something. I feel like I'm picking up this energy of some of you are going through these same cycles again and something keeps coming up. Something keeps reoccurring. Okay, I feel like you're trying to move towards something and then somebody keeps bringing up something. Okay, and it's just not letting you move away from it and it's bringing on some frustration for you guys. Okay, but it's about that time for you to make this decision. You're definitely going through this awakening phase. And again, some of you, this is internally and this awakening phase for some of you is just like, I don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> I don't even know who you are anymore, okay? But I feel like you are so in tune with yourself that other people look different to you, okay? These are the same people, same old damn mask they've been wearing, but you are shifting right now, Pisces. So people look different to you. Things look different to you. Environments feel different to you, okay? Because you're really just like, you're taking this, it's almost like you're taking this new leap. You're stepping into this new level of being. And it's like if someone can't be on the same page or following your footsteps or follow you up this follow you up this staircase or down this staircase, it's just like it's time for you to move on, okay? Some of you are getting some really fast communication when it comes to this. Again, some of you are either being downloaded with a lot of things as you're stepping into your truth. And then some of you are, you know, you may be experiencing receiving messages like via text message or via email or social media about something from the past. And this could be someone from the past that keeps returning. That's who is this person? OK, could be a scorpionic energy for some of you. Um, could also be Virgo, Taurus or um, Capricorn energy. OK someone from the past okay i feel like they're trying to communicate or they're going to be communicating with you during this during this state i don't understand though um like i said it could be it could be a virgo taurus capricorn or scorpio that you could be dealing with again someone from the past um, whether this is male or female, this could be an old friend, this could be old flame. Um, I do feel like this person, I feel like there's this energy of them being different or you being different. Or maybe this is you, Pisces, this Empress energy that you're just totally not really paying attention to. Or you're not even trying to go there. You don't really even care. You don't even care to respond as this person's reaching out to you because you're just not there anymore, okay? I'm going to clarify this. Um, why is this eight of wands here? Because there is something from the past or someone from the past. Yeah, someone with this world card here. Either they're traveling towards you, you're traveling somewhere and you, you know, run into this person or something. Or, you know, they're reaching out to you. Maybe they live somewhere far away. You know, you guys got separated, you know, or maybe you were in a long distance relationship before they're moving closer or something of that nature. But it's definitely somebody from the past that's trying to reach out to you, okay? Or that's going to be reaching out to you. And I don't know if this is causing you to have some sort of tower moment because maybe this is a flame or a fling that you, you know, really did have interest in. And maybe you guys are on, were on separate pages. And now maybe you might be on separate pages as you're communicating now. Sorry, guys, if my connection keeps going out, it's so annoying. 
Um, but I think we're back now. But I do feel like this person is trying to penetrate your space. I get myself caught up in words and phrases where I want to go there, but I should not go there. This person is trying to come into your energy in some sort of way. And I don't know if you are a bit reluctant about it. Who is this person? Let's see. The three of swords. Some of you could be in a third party situation right now, or maybe this person could be, you know, a person coming in that you maybe, you know, having a conversation with someone from the past, or maybe this person that's coming in, someone who may have done you wrong in the past, and it's just bringing up old feelings of hurt, and you just like, you're just not into it, okay? I'm feeling like this energy of you're just not into it. Some of you might be into it, but again, Whatever this is, this is, is you're working out with someone from the past or someone who's about to come in or is trying to come in or someone who's trying to communicate, there's an energy of like, I've kind of moved on. We're not really on the same page, but I feel like there's an energy of this person being persistent, okay? And consistent, okay? So why is this three of swords here? Yeah, this person is definitely coming in to offer you something. I feel like they have been watching you. Some of the, some of you, you know, could be in a third party situation where it's, you know, maybe things have gotten serious and this other person, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Pis or possibly a Scorpio that you're dealing with, could be wanting to offer you something, whether it's a relationship or taking your relationship to the next level. But again, I feel like for those of you that may be in this situation, you can't do anything about it. Either you're with someone or you're just not feeling them like that. But I feel like this person is watching you, okay? And I feel like they're trying to communicate with you in some sort of way. But there is, again, for some of you, a bit of reluctance there because maybe you've been hurt by this person in the past or you're just in a happy relationship and you could care less. You've kind of moved on. You know, you're two totally different people living two totally different lives and you're just not meshing in that way. You're not feeling it, okay? And again, some of you probably got your feelings hurt, so or you probably hurt their feelings or whatever the case may be. But this person is like trying to come in and rock your world, shift your world in some sort of way, okay? But I feel like you're in this place of Pisces, this place of will, okay? This place of will, of being able to express it, being assertive and letting this person know, nope, not happening, not going there anymore. Um, been there, done that. That is done and over with. <clears throat> Some of you are really finding that you have self-control now that maybe before you didn't and you probably would have given in to this situation. And now you just really have stepped into your truth and you're just like, either I'm going to take it because this is what I've been wanting or I'm not going to take it because been there, done that and I'm not losing what I already have. Okay. So that's that's that energy there, okay? And your overall outcome is, look at that. We're pulling the empress again. You are definitely stepping into your truth, loving yourself more than anything right now, Pisces, okay? I feel like there's so much love that comes off of this card. I feel like you're in, you're in collaboration mode. You're collaborating with yourself and spirit. Some of you are collaborating with, you know, business partners, things like that. I feel like you're focused, okay? Right now, you're focused on you and whatever that looks like, whether that is bringing more love to self or you're focused on your career right now, okay? I have the magician, the devil, the world, wow, and the six of swords. But look at all of these major arcanas here, okay, your, as your outcome, Pisces. OK, some of you are you're definitely creating some things could be dealing with Aquarius or Capricorn, possibly a Leo, Gemini, Libra or um, Aquarius here. But I do feel like, you know, your outcome is you're creating exactly what it is that you're wanting. OK, with this devil card here, if that's more sex, <laughs> then have more sex. OK, if that is just like being uh, releasing these releasing these chains releasing these ties stepping into your truth step, stepping into your sexuality 
stepping into your sensuality, stepping into a more creative self, okay? You're doing what, I don't see this devil card right now as anything bad. I just feel like you're doing things that are fulfilling to you right now, okay? And I feel like these are things that you want. You're manifesting it and you're creating it. And I feel like you feel no way about it. You're going to feel no way about it, okay? You're just going to be like, this is what's making me happy. This is what's making me thrive, okay? And then the world card is coming in. This energy of things are shifting. This is a whole new way of being right now, Pisces, okay? You're integrating this whole new way of living. You are, you have stepped into your truth. You're stepping into your truth. Some of you, those of you that are, are, are on this path already and feeling this, you know, this truth coming from within, you're stepping into this so strong and it's like <laughs> nobody can stop you. People are looking at you like, that just think she's the shit. Well, you are Pisces, okay? Because you have stepped into that. You have done the work and you can say that. You're integrating so much into your life, career, love, you know, passion, sexuality, sensuality, whatever this is for you, things are unfolding. Things are changing. It is the inevitable. And it's like, now that you know, Pisces, you cannot go back. There's no going back to the old you. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. You know why? <laughs> oh, no. Okay. This six of swords here is telling me that you're not going back. You're not looking back. Whether you're receiving the help or not, you're taking your shit and you're going. Okay. Whatever that looks like. Okay. Whether you're physically leaving something behind or you're leaving old thought patterns behind. You're not looking back. You're going for it. All is well in your world right now, Pisces. Okay. Let me see. Do I want to clarify? Um, let's clarify this um, magician card because I feel like you're creating so much right now, whether this be on the love front or this be, you know, in your career, whether this be spiritual growth. A lot of you are stepping away from these old feelings of denying yourself of anything, of denying yourself of what truly makes you happy and you're just moving forward without a care in the world, okay? This magician card, clarifying that, I have the Hermit and the High Priestess, two more major arcana cards. Pisces, there's a lot of shifting that's happening in your world right now, okay? Because we're pulling a lot of majors here, a lot of major arcana cards here um, for you. So there's a lot of shifting that's happening. Things that you need to, you know, think about, things that you need to retreat and not talk about to anyone else because you're trying to figure out what it is that you're actually experiencing right now so that you can move forward. Whatever it is, you're coming into your truth. You're coming into your highest self, okay? And I feel like you know this, and I feel like you're owning this. I feel like you don't need anyone to tell you this right now because you have received so much clarity or you're in a place of such clarity right now that you know things are just like, it's almost like some of you can feel the layers being pulled off or feel the layers falling, okay? And that you're stepping into this truth that is just like so freaking amazing right now, okay? So it's like spirit is telling me right now, make sure you're surrounded by good energy. Make sure you're surrounded by good people. Make sure you're not telling everybody what it is that you're experiencing because not everybody's gonna understand not everybody's on the same page. Find people that um, that's on the same page, okay? It's going to be different scenarios, but find people that's on the same page. Right now, this is what you're needing to continue to elevate your vibration and your spirit and moving forward in your truth, okay, Pisces? All right, Pisces, that is what I have for you today. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're looking for a personal reading, check the description box below. Follow me on Instagram at, spiritual, at spiritualpreneur. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell and give this video a like if it resonated. Thank you so much, Pisces, and I will see you for your mid-month reading, okay? Talk to you soon. Bye, guys.